So thank you everyone uh, for uh, uh, for coming and uh, so um, um, so our, uh, Apache Ravata, and just to give you a background uh, on uh, uh, what that project is um, um, and what we are trying to solve there is uh, so it's a um, it's a middleware layer uh, where we uh, where we are building APIs uh, uh, for enabling HPC uh, resources. So HPC resources are uh, like supercomputers uh, all over in U.S. Uh, uh, the the campus clouds, uh, which are um, which can be few nodes to uh, a lot of nodes, uh, and a lot of that is uh, um, like how those uh, how the scientific applications are uh, designed. So they they are designed to use MPI. They are um, uh, as the main um, uh, programming paradigm, and uh, that's where um, Aravata uh, pay, uh, plays a key role uh, to help those uh, uh, help scientists to use the uh, use the uh, HPC resources uh, uh, through their web portals. So, uh, overview of my talk is uh, I'll evaluate. Uh, I'll briefly go through uh, different uh, uh, Apache big data tools and uh, uh, then um, uh, uh, go through the uh, different execution patterns for uh, these uh, uh, analytical applications and uh, talk about uh, how uh, we are using a Ravata for different use cases at now and uh, uh, what we want to uh, explore um, so that we can help uh, applications which both uh, which want to use HPC as well as uh, uh, the the big data uh, uh, requirements so uh, this is the slide I took from uh, uh, Hootenworks uh, so this is just uh, so I was looking for, um, uh, for like what are the tools available, and what uh, where should so as a developer where should you s start from? Because uh, like I think there are 20, more than 25 uh, big data tools available in Apache itself, and there are much more uh, in the open source uh, community. So I just for the understanding, I wanted to see okay, um, uh, so where what are these uh, different variations in uh, all these products which uh, like because everything is a solution so uh, a software is uh, trying to solve a problem and uh, what's the main uh, like all these products are trying to solve so i i found this uh, uh, diagram really useful which um, which tries to uh, give it like three layer architecture of all these tools and uh, starting from uh, the batch processing which is uh, like Hadoop uh, 1.0 uh, which that's how Hadoop was designed for and uh, it was more of uh, um, map reduced jobs and then um, like so uh, Hadoop 1 was not enough um, because it, it doesn't support the iterative map produce. It, uh, there are more requirements uh, um, uh, related to how, how you query your data, how, uh, how the uh, data need to be stored. Um, so uh, that's where um, Hadoop 2 came. And um, so there are a bunch of uh, tools being uh, developed over that, uh, which, are, uh, which are using Yarn. As the um, as the resource manager, and uh, so some of the, these tools can run independently. Also, like um, uh, Apache Spark, which which is a tool from Amp Labs, and uh, try to uh, like so they claim they are much f uh, faster than Hadoop, and uh, they are because the, like they are. So the problem is slight uh, like. 
So uh, they, they are not trying to solve the, exactly the same problem. So they, because um, the programming paradigm changes with different application, uh, so that, that's what, uh, uh, that's, that's where I start looking into more into all these uh, uh, different variations of products that, okay, which can, uh, which can be used for solving the problem. And uh, so looking at that, uh, I found like this, these are the common patterns of which in big data, which like most of the applications uh, are, are trying to solve. Um, so talking about heterogeneous data, uh, till now we were more dealing with homogeneous data where like, so there's a astronomy camera looking into the sky and doing observations and um, it's more homogeneous. But now uh, there are more devices. Uh, example is weather. So there are uh, say, uh, satellite signals at, at every place which records these uh, and record the data and now that data need to be utilized in the applications to make sense of it. Um, so, uh, so after, like, so now we have this data. What we want to do with the data? And so we want to parse it. We want to make sense of the data. So making, uh, making sense, like, um, so uh, that's where data munching or data wrangling, uh, um, a lot of people say, and uh, there are uh, there are tools uh, in the big data uh, domain which just deal with that. I think uh, uh, Apache Scoop or uh, I don't remember the exact names of those. So now uh, after parsing, uh, um, I, uh, so you uh, we want to visualize the data. So there are visualization tools uh, um, which are developed. Um, uh, pr over the years, and they are changing now uh, to consume all this uh, new heterogeneous data. So, uh, and the fourth uh, big uh, uh, paradigm is uh, now. Uh, so we we got all this data. So we want to preserve the data so that, um, like, o over the years or like over the time, we want to use the data to build something which or to predict something which, is, which can be useful. So these are a few applications which uh, I, um, uh, I thought are um, good to share. So, uh, and they, they are into uh, like what problem we are trying to solve. Um, so example is, uh, uh, we all go to a doctor and uh, 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 with uh, uh, certain uh, symptom, and now the doctor want to uh, doctor takes all the data uh, which uh, he records saying like uh, what are the symptoms you have um, so he uh, as a doctor he want to take the current symptoms compare it with your um, your history like old history, as well as your family history, and taking all these different parameters and comparing it with the bigger data set, which is uh, like other patient history, to, uh, to recommend you that, okay, what, what is uh, the best uh, medication um, uh, for you? So this is just an example that how, how, uh, how this data is getting complicated and uh, uh, we uh, we were doing it already uh, recording all this data but uh, the thing is uh, there were not enough tools available to utilize the data um, uh. so I'll, I'll switch gears here uh, talking about uh, what the science gateways are and uh, why uh, like what I was uh, covering about the big data and big data analysis part, what, what how it is important for uh, us to think about, um, like how how we want to 
uh, help, uh, how can we help these scientific communities to, uh, to, to provide user interfaces for um, all these data analysis tasks? Um, so science gateways are uh, mainly like community portals where, um, so it's just like uh, a web, like a user website where, um, um, where users uh, uh, with similar interest or uh, users who want to use the similar tools uh, get together and uh, uh, to, uh, to use them uh, for, um, for the like, better, better science. So this is an example of a science gateway which uh, I'm working from last three years. And uh, so these are, um, so they have the uh, portal, which is, uh, uh, which uh, I, I think it, it has more than 100 active users and uh, uh, overall 300 users. So they, they use the portal to, uh, to select the data set. And um, so overall, what they are trying to solve is, uh, uh, so this for the biophysics uh, community, uh, and uh, they want to analyze uh, the particles and sedimentation of the particles to uh, find uh, like uh, um, the common voice or like to do um, their particle research. And uh, to like so uh, so to do this um, like three different steps. Um, so how Aravata has uh, simplified um, uh, uh, what uh, what Aravata has done for them is um, so uh, so using the middleware uh, they they can do their um, analysis uh, on all different types of clusters without um, without worrying about okay um, how how I need to configure my application for different uh, resources. So, um, so just to give a background on Exceed, Exceed is a, a project which, uh, um, uh, uh, which al allow users to connect to all the supercomputers all over in US. Um, uh, so, um, so a lot of these codes uh, are available uh, on on these resources, and they are traditionally all MPI codes, and uh, um, using uh, uh, using the nodes, and uh, so they uh, they are able to run these simulations on uh, on these clusters, and um, so the value what a router is able to uh, provide is. Uh, um, so enable a lot of different clusters. Um, so um, without thinking about what, what is the architecture of the cluster, uh, where, uh, how, how can they communicate with the cluster, and provide uh, uh, remote uh, management uh, to all these jobs. Uh, and other very important as, uh, aspect is, um, so these applications are not, so, mm, they are, they can be application, uh, they can be workflow by it themselves, but um, there may be multiple steps uh, need to be executed uh, uh, to run the application. So that's where Ravta is uh, um, uh, helping the scientists. So now uh, taking, uh, uh, taking the use case for uh, for text analysis. Um, so I'm working with uh, Hui uh, from IU on, on this uh, Techstar project, um, where he, um, the goal of the project is, uh, he, he don't, um, so there are a lot of R users uh, who want to uh, write their uh, serial R, but um, it cannot handle large data. So he, he's coming up with the, uh, he came up with this prototype uh, uh, gateway 
which where users can still write their serial R, which is uh, then converted into a parallel um, parallel R, which can um, so it, uh, that that's installed on uh, some of the clusters uh, at IU and uh, other places, and um, so taking that uh, uh, so you, uh, taking the user request and uh, running uh, running our code in into parallel. So, but um, so the solution is there, but um, um, the what. Um, from the um, from the uh, Aravata point of view, what um, what we thought is um, whether this solution can scale for a um, lot of users. If if uh, in, if he has to add more resources, if he want to, because all of this uh, is not good fit for HPC, um, because uh, when you are doing text analysis, you may not. Need MPI or you, you, you need Hadoop or uh, sim, uh, similar tools. So we are working with him um, on these set of requirements. What um, so one of the goal which I already talked. He want to run um, R in parallel. He want to hide the complexity um, uh, uh, from the users. Uh, he want to and and. The main goal for the project is uh, interactive text analysis and uh, uh, iterative text analysis. Um, so, so this is uh, like this simple diagram which uh, um, I I put together for him, saying uh, so if if you think like this and if we use uh, thrift for all these communications uh, um, between uh, your portal and uh, m between the all the plumbings which uh, which he has developed and um, doing that if we are able to uh, enable more resources for these users uh, that will be a um, better software or uh, we can scale it for uh, different uh, domains or we uh, we uh, uh, we can uh, handle more data sets because right now what he's focused on is uh, uh, one of the uh, project called Hathi Trust. Um, so which the goal of the project is to digitize a uh, lot of the book, a uh, lot of books uh, available in the library system and uh, to do text analysis on, uh, on that data. So, uh, so uh, working with the uh, working on his um, uh, his use case, uh, I, I start to evaluate uh, all different products, and uh, um, you know, what I found is uh, uh, Apache Spark is a good fit um, uh, for his problem, and um, there there are um, uh, so Spark community have a bigger motivation to develop Spark R, so there's a um, there's a version which is uh, available, um, so it's mainly the prototype version, um, not yet released. Um, so uh, other things were like um, there. So uh, one of the Ravta goal is to um, uh, to build a solution which can be used for similar gateways. It's not like we solve one problem and. Uh, we write bunch of code and uh, reusability is the key. Um, so, uh, so the vision uh, of what uh, I, uh, what we thought is uh, uh, good and uh, with, which will benefit other gateways or other portals, science portals are like if we we are able to enable like more clusters. Hadoop is one of the option and um, there. Um, there can be uh, like there can be spark cluster or something like that. So, um, so the value uh, for building such system is uh, 
uh, will be able to add uh, more scientific communities. And uh, what value Rauta or uh, this effort can play for big data uh, tools is to bring new use cases for them for um, um, for uh, analysis on um, analysis scientists want to do with the scientific applications. So I'm like, I don't want to stand between you and beer, so I, I finished pretty fast. So um, questions or comments? So right now, uh, um, so it's installed on the clusters. No, right now the like the package R is installed on the clusters, and we are using web uh, web sockets to. Uh, so it's a lot of plumbing right now being done, but and the whole idea is to remove that plumbing and use uh, Spark uh, Spark streaming uh, to 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 get the data uh, for visualization. And especially that, that is really important when we want to do iterative uh, execution of any text mining or similar algorithm. And uh, um, like doing reading about all this distributed R, there there are a lot of other projects which uh, are trying to come up with the solutions and. Uh, and that's where uh, I found, um, so if you have a uh, Hadoop or MapReduce type of requirement and uh, uh, you, uh, you want to do, um, uh, still use the R interface, uh, uh, Spark is uh, actually uh, really good for that. Uh, and uh, um, so um, they, they, uh, the Spark R uh, plugin which they come up with, uh, um, so I, I'm, Still in process of trying that uh, because it came like I think a um, uh, few weeks back. Um, so, any other questions or comments? And um, I think I was pretty fast and <laughs> didn't stop at all. <laughs> but yeah, feel free to uh, ask any. Uh, Anything which uh, uh, which I can clarify more.